Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. So today I wanted to focus on what happens after menopause? When does menopause end? How long does it last? I'm so often asked this question. So this is really, really key because you go through menopause. Most people don't even know how long menopause lasts and they don't know when they've come out the end of it. So let's get it straight to start with. You go through perimenopause for five years. That's five years around the time of the menopause. The average age of menopause is 51 and menopause is really only one day because it's the anniversary of one year since you last had a period and then the next day you're postmenopausal. But what happens is that it seems that the menopause is going on for a long time and in fact the research shows that symptoms can last for seven years, they can last even for 10 years. And I had a patient last week who came to me and said, that she was 74 years old and still having her menopause symptoms and was that normal? Well the answer is there are certain things going on at the time of the menopause and you need to understand what they are so that you can understand why they sometimes go on longer because they don't need to. You can nip them in the bud and you can get rid of your symptoms in the space of five or six months. So first of all we know that women have got low levels of nutrients at the time of the menopause. That's so common and if your nutrients are in a low range it will make it very very difficult for your hormones to function normally and for your brain chemistry to give out the right signals. Plus, at the time of the menopause, you've got falling estrogen levels. So you've got little estrogen receptor sites within the cells that go empty when you no longer have circulating estrogen and the brain doesn't get it. So it sends these thermal surges through our system to try and kickstart the ovaries back into function. But if you can consume naturally occurring estrogen in the form of food and some supplements that have been tried and tested, you can fool the brain back into thinking you've got normal circulating estrogen again. And guess what? The flushes and the night sweats disappear. So we know with our program that very often over 90% of patients are symptom free within the space of five months. You don't need to go on suffering. It's really important that you know that. It doesn't have to be a never ending situation. And also you've got the other thing to contend with that when your estrogen levels have fallen, you're no longer protected as you were before the menopause. So you're much more susceptible to things like osteoporosis, the bone thinning disease, to heart disease, and also to dementia and memory loss. And those are awful things to have to deal with, especially if it's unnecessarily. Unfortunately, some women who do absolutely nothing Thing at the time of the menopause and think that it's going to go off anytime soon just tend to go downhill and they don't feel better and then they bump into problems afterwards because they're not in good nutritional shape and that their hormones their estrogen levels are in their boots and so they're not protected from all the illnesses heart disease osteoporosis dementia and it becomes a really tricky journey so it doesn't have to be that way if you learn how to get through it and how to meet your needs. So please treat yourself as a priority when you get to midlife. Come to my website. You can get my weekly newsletter. You can also get new research as it comes out. Come to my masterclasses. Find out what's going on in your body and how you can put it right so that you can nip your symptoms in the bud and get back to reclaiming your life and your well-being. So important.